language. Today's lesson is learning how to play Hallelujah on guitar. So what we are going to do today is I'm going to teach for five minutes and then I'll end with some takeaways you can implement immediately. Before we start playing the song, let's take a look at how to read chord boxes. Reading chord boxes is important because it shows you where to place your fingers on the fretboard. Take a look at this. This is a chord box. The dots on this will tell us where to put our fingers on the fretboard. Each chord has a Latin name and this one is E minor. We have two different types of chords. We have major chords that sound happy and minor chords that sound sad. Can you guess which chord I'm playing here? Happy or sad? These are the strings and these are the frets and finger numbers. The strings like this. Here are your learning steps. There are three steps to learning this song. Step one, we'll learn the chords. Step two, here we'll learn the strumming pattern. And step three, we'll map out the song from start to finish. Guitar Star in 30 Days, a brand new course for kids six plus under one roof. Learn new songs, progress quickly towards a dream. Take your first steps, feel proud. Let a child try, give them a smile, show them you're proud. Join Guitar Star in 30 Days by visiting davidguitarcoach.co.uk. Let your light shine. Okay, let's jump straight into step one, learning the chords to hallelujah. Okay, so the first chord is C. So we're gonna place our third finger on the fifth string, the second finger on the fourth string, and the first finger on the second string like this. And when we play C, we just wanna make sure we're strumming from string five. Okay, so the next chord is A minor. So for A minor, we place the second finger on string four, and we place the third finger on string three, and then we place the first finger on string two. And on this one, we're also strumming from string five. All right, okay, here's the next chord, which is F major seven. So F major seven, we're gonna place the third finger on string four, the second finger on string three, and the first finger on string two. And on this chord, we're gonna strum from string four. Very dreamy sounding chord. Okay, we're getting there. The next chord is G. And again, at any point you need to pause this video to practice these chords, then please do. But we're gonna march ahead. Okay, so for G, we're gonna place our first finger on string one, our second finger on string six, and our first finger on string five. And we're gonna strum all six strings. Great, one more chord left to do, which is E. So for E, we're gonna place our second finger on string five, our third finger on string four, and our first finger on string three. All right, so those are all the chords that make up Hallelujah. 
So pause the video, practice these chords if you need to, and come and join me in step two. Hooray! Sometimes I know it's difficult to sit through a full video, but my teaching style will be best in a short period of time. They are interactive and inspiring. And after three to four minutes, you may feel like you want to leave or find something else to do. Let's honor that voice inside that says, I am ready for this. Here we are, step two. So I'm assuming you've got all those chords down. Now let's take a look at the strumming pattern. So the strum pattern is like this. We're gonna go two down, and then an up, and then a down. And we repeat that throughout the song. So my challenge for you is to pick one of these chords and stick with it, and then just Practice that rhythm until you feel like you've got it. So, something like this. So, remember to start slow. So, down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, down. And then, once you feel you've got the rhythm, then just try speeding it up a little bit. And just remember, when we're learning guitar, we've got to do things more than once. We do them over and over, and that's how we, we get better. Hooray! Okay, welcome to step three. We're going to piece the intro, verse, and chorus together. Okay, so the intro is C, A minor, C, A minor. And we're going to be doing two of those strum patterns on each chord. So that's down, down, up, up, down, twice on each chord. So like this. And then A minor. Back to C. And then A minor. Such a great intro. Okay, again, pause the video if you need to and practice that. But we're gonna jump into the verse now. Okay, so we're back on to C and we're doing two down, down, up, up, downs. And then A minor. Back to C. This time we're then going to change to F major 7. You can see I'm leaving my first finger down, it's like a, an anchor or being rooted to the guitar. We change to F major 7. I'm doing the rhythm three times there. I'm going to change to G. Doing that once and then back to C. to C, F major 7, then G, A minor, F major 7, G, to A minor. Great, and then that's the verse. So we just got the chorus left to do, right? <laughs> Here we go. 
So we're starting on F major 7. Seven. C. G. Back to C. So this is the outro. to end. Okay, again, just pause the video if you need to and practice that. Hooray! I'm just going to play it slow and I'm going to play it all the way through. Okay, here we go.
I want to honor and acknowledge and celebrate you for taking the time out of your busy day to learn guitar. I know sometimes schoolwork and other activities can get in our way. But you made it to the end of this video where most people don't, which tells me a lot about you and how great you are going to be at this. And remember, believe in yourself as much as I believe in you.